show. This time we're uh, previewing the Italian Grand Prix. And that's going to be tomorrow. Uh, but first, let's take a look back at the Dutch Grand Prix. Max Verstappen pulled away with a win yet again uh, for the Red Bull. Lewis Hamilton right behind him. Uh, then Valtteri Bottas, followed by Pierre Gasly in fourth, Leclerc in fifth, and Fernando uh, Alonso in sixth. Sainz got seventh, Perez got eighth, Akan got ninth, and Norris got tenth. So kind of a crazy race, um, especially for Perez. Uh, Perez did get driver of the day. Uh, big Perez fan, but I really feel like Gasly should have gotten driver of the day, uh, qualified fourth. So he didn't gain, but more importantly, he didn't lose in the Alphatori. Um, fourth place, great race by him. I really think he should have gotten driver of the day, in my opinion. Um, even with all the great stuff that Sainz did, um, you know, for Gasly to fend off uh, the Ferraris and McLarens and Alpines and um, everything. I think he just had a great race. Should have gotten. He is my driver of the race. Um, but other than that, uh, pretty crazy race. Uh, back to qualifying. Qualifying is a mess. Drivers stopping, going, causing all sorts of problems. That's why uh, Perez was so far behind. Uh, you know, he started in the back, pitted, 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 lots of pits. Um, then again, Red Bull uh, just outmaneuvered, out out uh, performed Mercedes and just did a better job planning. So good on them for that. And uh, leaves us with the driver's standings. Verstappen takes over the lead uh, by five points. Hamilton's in second. Botas up to third, going past Norris. Uh, Norris again in the last race. Um, whoops, going the wrong way. Uh, Norris did not get any points, or no, sorry, got 10th, so he only got one point uh, in the race. So Botas goes ahead of him into third, Norris down to fourth, Perez is in fifth, Leclerc is sixth, Sainz in seventh, uh, Leclerc goes over Sainz, Perez, uh, Gasly went in eighth, Ricardo ninth, Alonso tenth, Akan eleventh, Vettel twelfth, Sonoda thirteenth, Stroll fourteenth, Russell fifteenth, Latifi sixteenth. Reichen in 17th, Juvenazzi 18th, I think I got those backwards, uh, Schumacher and Mazepin both have zero points, uh, Mazepin continues to be a uh, pain to Formula 1 and embarrassment, and uh, again, should not be racing, but that's got money, so that's all that matters. Uh, Constructors Championships, Mercedes uh, holding second and third in the drivers championships currently still in fourth for the constructors championships uh red bull second ferrari passes mclaren is now in third great race between the two of them for that third place mclaren is in fourth alpine's fifth alvatore six aston martin seven williams eight alfa romeo nine and haas still has zero points so uh Great battles for first, and uh, great battle for first, great battle for third, great battle for fifth. Um, really great to see those mid-tier teams battling and um, going back and forth. So Italian Grand Prix. Um, this is how uh, another Mazda. We got the sprint. So another sprint qualifying after the qualifying. Um, crazy, but uh, it is what it is. So Botas is going to win the sprint qualifying. Verstappen got second, Ricardo eight, uh, third, uh, Norris fourth, Hamilton fifth, Leclerc sixth, Sainz seventh, Giovinazzi eighth, uh, Perez ninth, Stroll tenth, and Alonso eleventh. Now I'm joining Alonso in the eleventh because Botas had made changes to his power unit and therefore is uh, starting at the back of the grid. He's going to start 20th. Um, which means Verstappen is starting first, Ricardo's starting in second, and everyone's moving up a spot. So Alonso is going to start 10th here. Um, strange. I'm not sure if that means Verstappen's actually starting at P um, in the first spot, or he's you know starting where P2 usually would be. 
they didn't really go over that. Um, but Botas does pick up some points for winning this. Um, and we'll go over why that's kind of important in a little bit. But um, with the sprint, a uh, little bit of contact right in the beginning. Gasly went out, um, lost his nose, and got stuck under his tire after a little bit of contact and is was out of the race because um, I was hoping for uh, some more from him. So he's going to start ninth, 10th, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, McLaren's held off the Mercedes. You know, Hamilton, I don't think, was pushing it too much to try to get around Norris. But, um, you know, Norris did a great job. It's going to, the McLarens and Mercedes are much faster than the Red Bull, especially on these tracks. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, Ricardo and Verstappen, um, seeing them up, with, up together again, that's pretty fun. Um, Mazda, classic track. Um, lots of straights. And uh, should be interesting to DRS owns here. Um, next race is September 26th, the Russian Grand Prix in Sochi and that's a fun track be fun to watch another Mercedes track so we'll see how this one goes probably give us a preview to that race um, news coming out Botas signed a multi-year contract deal with um, Alfa Romeo Kimi Raikkonen is retiring and uh, George Russell is going to Mercedes uh, worst kept secret George Russell going to Mercedes um, I feel bad for Botas, been making fun of him a lot all season, um, but that's not on him, that's on Mercedes, Mercedes, if they weren't messing up so much, I really feel like he would be, you know, one or two in the championships, constructor championships, Mercedes been holding him back, favoring Lewis, um, especially in the last race, we saw Botas set the fastest lap, and then he was told to pull off, he would have been even faster, uh, Hamilton got the fastest lap, you know, Mercedes been favoring Hamilton for years, and Botas has just been following uh, following orders, so it'll be interesting to see what happens now that Botas knows his job is up. I think we got about five races left after this, so we'll see what happens when Botas, you know, has nothing left to lose. Um, fun race tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, Mazda's probably my favorite track to uh, race on. Um, when I think of one, this is the track I think of, so it'll be great to watch, uh, see what happens, you know, right from the first chicane, all the way through those straights, so much fun to, uh, watch lots of speed, we'll see, uh, what happens when, um, you know, Botas starting at last, see if he can get through the pack, and see if Verstappen, um, can keep the lead, and see what happens through that first chicane, it'll be interesting to see if everyone makes it through, especially with Mazepin in the, in the race. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching, and enjoy the Grand Prix.